Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm in St. Hedwig, Texas, kind of on the more countryside, uh, on the east part of the greater St. Louis, San Antonio area. I used to be stationed in St. Louis a long, long time ago. But anyways, we're going to do a tour of a house that the builder walked away from, and I've got some buy buyers who are considering this house. So, of course, I'm going to do a video for them so they have all the information. Let's head on inside. This house is 3150 square feet. Um, we do have some cows and horses out here that do belong to the neighbors. They're just letting them use the property. So uh, that's awful nice of them to help uh, kind of keep the grass down. But nice community uh, on that side of the area is like Greater San Antonio. But this is St. Hedwig where these are all going to be like 10, 10 acre lots. It's really nice. But on the outside, the house looks really nice. But after talking to the our construction expert, a lot of this is going to be need to be re redone, and that's going to be on a different video. And I'll put that link up here. But this is going to be a walkthrough of the house itself. So it looks like right here they planned on having a set, two different offices. This is a really big office. Uh, my, the wife of my the potential buyer, she's already got grand ideas to change it up a little bit, make it a giant, giant closet because you already have an office kind of set up on this side. So would have tall ceilings. Um, there is quite a bit of work that needs to be done on this house, but this would be the kitchen area. It looks like they're going to have like two different islands. Both of them with water going to it. That's a little interesting because you usually have one with a sink, one without. Got your breakfast nook area over there. Would be gas, but this house does not have a propane tank just yet and all of your sink appliances. All right, let's go around and kind of check out this space. This is going to be a bedroom back here. So you're going to have a bedroom and that's going to be your little closet with a full bath kind of tucked away over here definitely you can see some light through the walls there and uh this is going to be uh another door going to the outside um this would be kind of your laundry room space you could have got your washer and dryer set up and a sink set up here in this corner and another door going to the outside a lot of doors in this house so um but remember we were this is going to be your kitchen area this would be the pantry kind of around the side of it so a really large pantry which is really nice we'd have a hallway going through here and I'm going to go upstairs real quick and then we'll finish off in the master bedroom. I'm not going to make this a very long video because these are kind of boring and my clients are sitting outside. But this will be the fireplace kind of in the corner, wired for a TV. You're going to have kind of two different spaces. Oh, actually, you're going to have a little, looks to be a bedroom, but there's no closet. So to be classified as a bedroom, you're going to need a closet in it, but this could be like a little bonus space. Uh, the winds are picking up. Another little bonus space up here. All right, we have a bathroom for the area. We're going to have two vanities set up with a shower bath combination. And this is actually a bedroom up here definitely can see through the wall that that's going to need some work like I said once again different video but this room does have a closet so this will be categorized as a bedroom up top it's going to be your air conditioning stuff all set up right there or looks at the air air conditioning thing this would be your attic space speaking of attic space there's a lot of it Let's go in and kind of show off what would be the attic space up here. There'd be a door here going into your attic space with lots of storing, storage. But yeah, definitely some uh, framing stuff that would need to be repaired, like I said, but the construction guy, he already did a walkthrough in a different video. But yeah, lots and lots of storage space up here. 
you see some stuff need would need to be fixed but yeah if you wanted to use this as a storage space you definitely could and that storage space even kind of goes all the way back underneath here all right let's head on downstairs again and we'll check out what the master bedroom would look like and uh the bathrooms because that's kind of different because you'll see in a second the bathrooms are a little unique uh good thing the wife is like she liked this idea so yeah let's head on down to the bathrooms and the master bedroom all right we just came down those stairs this would be the master bedroom uh, with more french doors like i said a lot of doors in this house going out to the backyard kind of wish the patio extended maybe i'll show that at the very end of this video the outside but right now i want to show off the bedroom these are framed for like your standard uh six foot something doors always like eight foot doors but uh that's what this they builder did uh you're gonna have one big closet right here and just your little linen closet on this side but here's one bathroom i say one because bear with me there's two of them down here you're gonna have your vanity uh water closet full uh, garden tub and a shower here all with access to this closet we just pointed out that's got two doors in it and then on this side we have uh this is going to be like a square shower and then a long water closet for the toilet over here your vanity and then kind of a small ish closet kind of right there all right the listing agent is calling me so let me pause this video real quick all right yeah that was the sales rep the listing agent let me know that there's somebody else coming out to look at this property in about 30 minutes so i gotta wrap this on up but yeah this would be the master bedroom and it looks like another little space for extra storage underneath the staircase all right uh i mentioned before i wanted to go show you the outside a little bit so let's go on out and do that right now back in the big main living space here it is a bit windy outside we do have some of that tropical storms coming through uh, it's gonna be hitting here pretty soon but you can see they've got the trench dug for the electrical like i said the builder kind of just abandoned this whole thing so it's kind of interesting but yeah 10 acres uh we got a shed right there to our side and i guess there's another one somewhere else on this property further in the back um i don't know if i want to walk all the way back there because i think my clients are kind of done but i just want to kind of show off the back part of this house and more of what's done and uh yeah i got this little tough shed here which is nice for storage for uh your lawn equipment because obviously you're gonna need to ride a lot more out here on 10 acres the house does face west so that would mean the setting sun is on the back would create shade on the back of the house so you could do some creative stuff back here all right you can see way back in the distance there that's where the two-story mother-in-law shed is uh, we can't go into it right now because they said it's all locked up and the listing agent doesn't have the key all right that's going to do it for this quick tour of a partially constructed house in saint hedwig 3150 square feet as of mid-june 2024 they're asking seven hundred thousand dollars for it obviously as a buyer's rep buyer's agent we're we wouldn't come in for that kind of offer because yeah we had our construction guy out here giving us his opinion and we're going to take it all right if you like this video hit the like button of course i want to subscribe to my channel but most importantly if you know someone moving to the texas hill country area and they don't have a real estate agent i will be happy to help them my contact information will be in the description box all right take care now bye